Red and black. Life and death. The joke. And the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> this pattern you're making, this game you've been playing since you came back from the dead, this harlequin checkerboard snakeskin, this is the big one, isn't it? The ultimate joke. In your own insane way, you're trying to tell me something. Something primal. Fundamental. Someone's hunting me. I can feel it. Someone who thinks they can do your job better than you. Heard anything on the grapevine about a person or organization known as the Black Glove? Scary, isn't it? When you can't see what's coming. You're dealing a dead man's hand with a twist. I saw that coming on the first eight. Surprise me. Some very, very bad people have decided to hurt you. Hurt you so bad you'll never recover. Why? Because they can. Because they think you deserve it. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. The dead man's hand is missing a finger. That last fatal card. What are you trying to tell me? Red and black. What are you trying to tell me? Bang! Joker. If I was scared, I wouldn't be Batman. Whoever they are, tell them to bring it on. Never die. I just killed a man on your doorstep. If your reach is as long as you say, that should pose no problem. Huh? The dead man's medical files are already being edited to include a documented history of paranoid schizophrenia, Monsieur Le Bossu. A suicide note he left for his disabled wife is being composed and will be secreted upon his person. Eyewitnesses will be bribed or killed. The widow ruined. 
We are operators at the highest level. Believe me, everything you've heard about the Black Glove is true. Call me Dr. Hurt. Come, take your place for the Dance Macabre. Call me Ishmael. <laughs> Call me Sweetheart. Call me a taxi in the name of God. Just don't call me the Green Vulture. Not until I say, stupid cheap mask. <laughs> Leave him crazy clues, they'll never work out. Give me some hot psycho groupies with bells in their hair. Body count, body count. <laughs> die, beauty humans, die. <laughs> they want to stick me in Arkham Asylum? <laughs> I'm down with that. I'll get to meet all my heroes. Dude, you are so dead. Okay, I'm impressed. Thumbs up. New Batmobile. I don't know. It's not how I saw it when I first had the idea. You and Alfred asked me to take it easy. I'm taking it easy. The car's doing all the heavy lifting. Even the CD changer's ten times smarter than the moron driving the Lincoln. I could have been following up leads on my black glove case. You talked me into a test drive. You only died for four minutes, Bruce. There's nothing wrong with recovery time. You have a very kind face. <laughs> when was the last time you heard that? There's a couple hundred dollars in the dash. You're on bad drugs, in a Halloween suit, with about a dozen cameras recording your complete loss of self-respect. Hit me! No. I mean, can you believe that? Seems like the only criminals left in Gotham are these stupid homemade guys the cops can take care of. It's an American Idol era of equal opportunity supercrime, Master Tim. Every Tom, Dick, or Harry with a makeup box and rampant Tourette's fancies himself the next Joker. Bruce. Has he been like this before? I mean, have other girls known about Batman? I believe there have been one or two. Miss St. Cloud, Miss Bordeaux. They've tended to be honorable and very discreet young ladies, by and large. I watch him go through cycles. Try not to worry so much, Master Tim. I'm not worried, it's not that, it's just... Well, first there was that whole experience when we were in Nanda Parbat, the Thaggle thing, right? I understand enough about meditation to know that what he did could just as easily have driven him insane. He was in that cave for 49 days! And then I find out he spent 10 days in an isolation chamber before I was Robin and actually lost his mind for two weeks? Indeed. Okay, so now he almost dies for real and then becomes obsessed with this whole black glove idea and he's talking about some massive paranoid web of interconnected events. Alfred, are we sure Bruce's head is okay? Togar is the peak meditative experience in the Dzogchen tradition of Tibetan Buddhism, Master Tim. Nothing less, as I understand it, 
than a complete rehearsal while living of the experience of death. Master Bruce has a very clear idea of human perfection, towards which he constantly strives, you understand. The absolute physical mastery of the top martial artists, gymnasts, or yogins. The logical and deductive skills of master philosophers, forensic scientists, and detectives. The understanding, discrimination, and moral clarity of ultimate Zen addicts. Need I continue? You know him better than me, Alfred. His is a mind like no other. I have grave doubts either of us will ever fully comprehend its decisions. But we must never underestimate its strength and resilience. Tell me what's really troubling you, Master Tim. Alfred, in the space of two years, I lost my dad, my best friend, and my girlfriend. And I've been adopted by Batman. I spend increasing amounts of time in a seriously creepy world of violent crime and insanity, and all in all, I think I cope better than most people my age would. But yeah... Something's been keeping me up at night. Did he do a paternity test? On Damien? You know, like a DNA test. He had to, right? <sighs> he insisted he would tell you the results himself, when the time was right. Alfred? So you know. You both know. And nobody is going to tell me? It's not my place to say, young sir. Forgive me. The son of Satan is my brother? That's it. Time out. Bruce, they would both be so proud of you if they could see what you've done, how many lives you've changed. Hmm. I hope so. What happens when you finally won? When they're avenged at last? Will you know? You know I have to go back soon. It'll be like waking from a dream. What will you do? Gotham's been quiet recently, but I'm connecting the dots on something big. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll miss you. Well, when Batman is done with his work, and I'm done with mine. I have something we can investigate together. I know how you love mysteries. I love solving them. Well, apparently, this is a very elite group of incredibly rich and mysterious people who organize the most outrageous parties. Am I wrong to seize on the fundraising possibilities? Ah, here it is. I thought this would appeal to your dark side, and that was before I even knew. The Black Love extends an invitation to Miss Jezebel Jett and Mr. Bruce Wayne. The theme this season, Dance Macabre. Can I see that? Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> well, it's like I always say. The comedy is in the timing. <laughs> You don't see anything. Nothing at all. Another pretty flower. I see. If you insist on being uncooperative, perhaps we should try a fresh approach. Is it 15 seconds before restoration of power? May I introduce myself, monsieur? My nom de crime is Le Boussou. I'm here on behalf of the Black Club to invite you, the master, to the Batman's dance of death. We'll be in touch. Another pretty flower. 